I'm Becca Honeycutt. On this episode of Brown Tales, we're at EAA Air Venture Oshkosh 2019, and we've brought our Boeing 747-8, the queen of the skies. Today, we're gonna take a look at the queen, take you through the entire aircraft. Let's go check it out. <laughs> For those of you that have never been to EAA Air Venture Oshkosh, we have Dick Nepinski here. Dick is the Communications Director for EAA. Let's talk about this. What is Oshkosh? Oshkosh is the world's largest fly-in gathering. Brings together more than 600,000 people, more than 10,000 airplanes to the region from all over the world. Last year, people from 87 countries seeing things from the smallest ultralight up to, well, 747s. 747s, we like that. You can see it behind us here. Let's talk about that volume you were mentioning earlier. That probably keeps your uh, air traffic control tower pretty busy, right? We become the world's busiest airport here in Oshkosh. Uh, busier than O'Hare, busier than Hartsfield. Uh, we will have as many as 3,300 takeoffs and landings during a peak day, and that's in a 14-hour day, not a 24-hour day. So we'll have airplanes landing here at peak times every 10 to 15 seconds. Well, you've been here for many years yourself, but not as many years as the anniversary that you guys are celebrating. Talk to us about that. One of the great anniversaries this year, uh, late 60s, early 70s, great time for aviation in space. The 50th anniversary of the Boeing 747, and we're so happy that UPS Airlines has brought a 747 here. There have been people milling around it all week, inside of it, outside of it, standing under the wing to get some shade, all of those things out here, and it's really made a big hit with a lot of our attendees. Events like Oshkosh really give UPS the chance to shine. And shine we are today. We're talking with Daniel Meinsinger, Director of Human Resources for Air Region Flight and Aircraft Maintenance District. Boy, do you have a long title. Thank you very much. You see all these people around us here at Oshkosh, and this really does give us a chance to shine and tell people who we are, what we stand for, and our commitment to the customers, right? You know, when you look at Oshkosh, about 500,000 people, they give us an opportunity to show what we do as an organization. And over 100 years of business, you know, people don't always realize that we're on the airline side. You told me a story a little earlier. A woman came to you and said, I cannot believe you took this aircraft out of service for the air show. But what did you say to her? Well, when I explained to her, I said, on Monday, this plane was in Hong Kong, and on Monday night, it was in Louisville. I said, it's actually in service today, because when you think about it, we're going to probably have somewhere between 10 and 18,000 people look at this as an opportunity to see what UPS does. So when people come up to you, they want to be a pilot, they want to be a mechanic and work on fantastic engines like what's behind us. What do you tell them? What kind of characteristics would we be looking for? Well, it's an opportunity for us to show people again what we do. So we look at young aviators that are looking down the road. They kind of ask questions about what do I need to do to be considered. We also give them the opportunity to either go on the maintenance side, the engineering side, because people seem to see an air industry, but they don't understand what goes behind the scenes. There's so many different opportunities, and there's so many different opportunities for us to tell the younger generation that you can do this. Now to tell us a little bit more about the Queen of the Skies, we have 747 Captain Eric Brethauer here. Eric, this lady is massive. Yes, she is. I mean, she's a little larger than the 747-400s we have, but that all works out in our favor. Now, what can you tell me about the length? It goes on and on and on. Well, this airplane is about 18 feet longer than the 747-400. Uh, the wings are about 12 feet wider than the 747-400, and that, that all works towards the efficiencies of the aircraft. Now, as far as the size, this is huge, but that's a great little nugget of information for our customers, right? Right, exactly. We can carry actually some more payload using the same equipment over the same distances, and so that translates into hopefully lower costs, which we can pass on to our customers. And as far as um, where this travels, because it's a larger airplane, we can get more places globally, right? Yeah, we can get more places. And uh, beginning of last year, we actually started flying Louisville, Dubai nonstop, which helps us connect a lot of our major markets and more customers in a shorter time frame. Connecting global communities is very important for us and for our customers. How many packages do you think we can get in here? Well, you know, we can carry 300,000 pounds of payload, which could be on the order of maybe 30,000 packages. Woo! 
Ooh-wee. Do you do a lot of online shopping yourself? I do, and so I'm, I'm my own worst critic sometimes, so. You've been um, helping a lot with the tour today, seeing kids of any age coming through here. What do you tell them? You're in uniform, you're what they want to be. I mean, what kind of words do you tell them? Well, just words of encouragement, trying to, to stoke the fire inside each of the kids to, to chase their dreams. And if they want to become a pilot or even mechanics, uh, we all work together and to, to go for what they want to do in life. Thanks again for watching this episode of Brown Tales. We've celebrated the EAA 50th anniversary as well as the 50th anniversary as a 747. It's one big birthday party. Please like, share, and comment below, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm so tired.